Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect. In this episode I hope to continue doing other things rather than the core missions. We've got the Vermeer mission and then the race against time finding the conduit but really Vermeer is the only direct mission that we have. This is just uh, go to Eden, uh, go to uh, what you call it, the other places and Vermeer is the last of those places. So yeah, we have to do Vermeer, that is the key thing. But we've got all these other assignments that we could possibly do. Look at all these. Uh, find valuable minerals. We've got one gas. I think that was helium-3, but we can find heavy metals, light metals. This is just along the way kind of thing. There's nothing in particular there. Locate signs of battle. In the previous episode, I found a League of One medallion. Uh, we, we can hunt for more of those. But that's not really a direct mission either. Neither is the Asari writing one. In the previous episode, we got a writing belonging to Matriarch de la Naga. And so we'll just come across. For these, we're just going to come across things as we go along. But then there's Noveria Espionage. Vargas at the hotel bar. In order for Meline's device to work, you have to keep him talking about business. That's That we'll go back to Noveria for. Then on Pharos, we have to find that one console. That's, that'll just be annoying, I think. Um, investigating samples in the Matano system. Very sciencey. Noda Crux is located in the Vostok system of the Maroon Sea cluster. We have to investigate that facility. There's strange transmissions in the Hawking Eta cluster. There are shipments to investigate in the Amazon system in the Voyager cluster. And then we've received a cryptic message from an Asari ambassador on the Citadel. She wants to meet us in person. Uh, we have met her. And we have to head to the Macedon system in the Artemis Tau cluster to investigate mercenary attacks. Nothing seems to be overlapping so far. I mean, they're all in different places. Farinata system of Hades Gamma cluster. We need to get to the biotics on board the freighter because of a hostage situation. There's finding miss missing researchers in the Hades Gamma Cluster. So there's two things in the Hades Gamma Cluster there. Man named Gareth has asked me for to look for his missing brother. And that's in the Strena system. Okay, I found an OSD containing information about Fist's illegal activities. I need to deliver that to a reporter. And then there's the scanning the keepers, which is just how things work. And then we have to go to the Hydra cluster in Hydra system in the Argus Row cluster to investigate unusual readings. That's a lot to do. Um, that's a lot to do. So, yeah. I think we'll start off completing the Citadel thing. Let me go back to the Citadel. I'll complete the reporter's request and then I'm going to proceed to do other things. I think we also should talk to that preacher if that's still something we haven't done. and Because I've gotten a lot more points as far as intimidation. Hopefully we can intimidate. And uh, yeah, after that we will proceed to other things. So I haven't visited the Citadel in a little while. Let's go back to the Citadel. There might be other missions to pick up there too. So we were at the moon. We have finished with that. The Citadel's over here. We'll we'll make our way like this. Note Vermeer is on the opposite side. So we'll proceed from Citadel to Exodus Cluster, Noveria, and just go one by one in order until we get to Vermeer, I think. That's my current plan. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Little thrusters firing too. Okay, let's go. I may, maybe we should talk to peoples on the Normandy. I don't know. 
Oh, all right, we'll talk quickly. Okay, talk. Commander, do you have a minute? I'm listening. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay, who knows where, but we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Uh, I don't get what he's talking about, but uh, what do you expect We've me to do? We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem in His the views are sort of mixed up. The dangers. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got some things that don't really connect well together. Uh, cute way to look at it. Well, that's, that's... Well, well, you're a romantic. Did Fair you enough. sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Okay, well, I mean, fine. If you're just out here to explore, then being on a mission shouldn't be a problem. Uh, just be ready. I trust you won't have any questions when whatever's coming hits the fan? None. I'm not questioning the mission. I'm just concerned. Sorry to have wasted your time, ma'am. It won't happen again. Rex. I haven't had a good time with Rex. Garrus? Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Really? Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Yeah, you shouldn't complain. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Right. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Yeah, but that's not quite how it works. Way, protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. All right. So you just Enough quit because you didn't like the way they do things. There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to That's happen. That's not quite what I wanted yeah, to say, probably but... Right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without C-Sec headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Whatever. Just do a good job and don't get in my way. Get along fine. Don't worry, Commander. I'll keep clear. Yeah. I don't know about these ideas, sir. I'm inspecting the Mako. Okay. I don't like uh, rogue vigilante peoples necessarily. Well, what does Engineer Adam hey, say? Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Is she bothering I'll you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. Is that a good she thing? She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I didn't. Uh, no, I did, actually. She, I did. Uh, it's the... There are others that I did not. All right. Uh, fine. Uh, okay, goodbye. Carry on, Adams. I don't want any Paragon points or anything. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea. Well, now you're talking. Were so advanced. Uh, no, this ship is special. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, 
I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. That, 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 you know, it sounds like an interesting thing. I would like to play that sort of uh, game where, uh, where we were scrounging for stuff and patching up our fleet and doing stuff like that. Not with the pristine vessels, you know, we really have to pick up parts and try and keep the fleet working. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Okay. I should go. See you later. This is sick bay, right? Replenish Metagel. Well. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Not really. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Liara is over here. All right, I guess I'll talk to her. Oh, cutscene kind of thing. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Not really a cutscene. Okay. Uh. Yeah, she did. In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once, before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. That's Saren's fault. I blame Saren. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. Yeah. We have enough reason to stop Saren. I do not need to add revenge to Oh, we just add it to the Benezia list. Chose her path, What's the harm? Just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Yeah, about that. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. No, it definitely sounds, sounds lonely. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well... That is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Oh? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Um. Uh, must have made I her bet mad. That pissed her off. Yeah. Okay. No. When I told her, she simply said, "A daughter must rebel against her mother, Liara. It is part of the natural order." But there was more to that it. That sort of takes all the fun out I of it. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. <laughs> Don't try and study me. Uh, uh, I'm fascinating. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. Yeah. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I wonder if I, I would have gotten the same dialogue if I picked the other one, too. Uh, no, that's even worse. Uh, okay, relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. 
Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Okay. Go. Goodbye, Shepard. Lots of XP there, alright. Well, uh, that leaves Ashley, right? I haven't talked to Joker yet either. That's always fun. Okay, Joker. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. Okay, that's I all I go. needed here. Alright, see ya. Commander? Okay, can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? No, I'm requesting to talk. Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Uh, Caden. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Fraternization is against regulations, ma'am. Don't ask, don't tell. What's up? Uh, you didn't come by to don't know about that. Mm, okay. Uh. My protocol didn't mean to tell me tell me about your family. Well, I'm not gonna say I didn't mean to. Mind your protocol. Eh, I'm not a protocol kind of person normally. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. You raised your After sisters. After raise them, your sisters still talk to you. <laughs> Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Dad was gone like a lot? father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. Indeed. I well, rest except on maybe on an artificial gravity I station. Life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly. Both with those that loved me. What what am I getting here? For always Oh god, she's got to continue. Much have I seen and known. Cities of men. All right, all right, all right. Climates, councils, governments. <laughs> What's the scrap? Yeah. Bored now. Bored now. Is the rest of your life story this dull? Not everyone goes through the crap you had to, commander. Some of us just live ordinary lives. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. Yeah, sure he is. God, I can't, I, I can't, can't bust somebody like that. Uh, watching from the afterlife. Yeah, He's all right. He's not a zombie, is he? <laughs> you know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Not my place to judge. Your beliefs are your business. I'm your commanding officer. Not your moral compass. I appreciate that, Skipper. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. All right. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Okay. Well, we've talked to everybody. Now let's go for the Citadel. Okay, exiting Normandy. Um, Ashley, maybe. Garrus, well... Him and the seasick people might get into a tiff. Alright, how about Liara? We had a nice talk. And, um... Ashley, I guess. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Don't remind me that uh, Presley is the Exo. Rear Admiral? Well, a Rear Admiral isn't uh, standing here for his health. Maybe we've got another mission here? Tin Hut! Oh, that give is. me a break. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Uh, this is a surprise. Uh, what do you want? Uh, sure. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me, you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. 
And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. Think of it as an opportunity. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I can I punch him? I don't the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Don't insult my ship. This ship has saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. Are this you here just to insult my ship? Diverted billions from our appropriations bills. He is, isn't he? At the he? same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians. Throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I don't think so. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? Damn right I did. This ship is council property right now. So respectfully, please clear the gangway. Indeed. Have it your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. Go for it. Yay, renegade points. Not many though, jeez. What do you need to do to get renegade points these days? Rear Admiral just popping up trying to inspect my ship. Sure. So, Liara, you've spent 50 years studying Prothean runes and artifacts. Our travels now are somewhat different from Bit of audio issue here. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. I think you've spoken for scientists everywhere, Liara. Commander Shepard? You look like a reporter. You've got one of those camera bots. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Yeah. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Oh, they're, they're gonna wanna... Okay. Uh, depends. What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? I say good stuff. Some topics are classified. So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. Yeah. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Uh, it's, it's over to you. We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't sit at the kids table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? They know better. It's not like that. Uh, I don't know what the act... You see, the thing is, I don't know what the actual dialogue for they know better will be. But... Yeah, they know better. I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. Okay, that's good enough. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Okay, why, why be defensive about that? It's an advanced warship, yeah. Uh, a great human... I, I, I'm not pushing the whole racist thing, come on. She's a fine ship. Many details are still classified, I'm afraid. I can tell you she's a fine ship and has the best crew I've ever served with. Some members of that crew are aliens, as I recall. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I command the Normandy. Darn straight. Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform, and if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. I have no Speaking superiors. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? Uh... I blew up the hot labs? Did I blow up... I forget. Did I blow up the hot labs? Maybe. Uh, but uh, they didn't order me. That was an accident. Maybe that was an accident. Yeah. The council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. Okay, that, that's right. In to protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. 
Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Uh, when we're strong. Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. We build a few dozen more dreadnoughts, I guarantee we'll be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? He was behind Eden Prime. Yeah, yeah, pretty Saren much. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Official lines. Hey, I'm supposed to give you some information about... Come on. Oh, we got some funds for that, but... I was supposed to give her that information about uh, Fist. Shoot. Oh, we haven't scanned this keeper. Got something for the Codex. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. Officer? It's an honor to meet you, oh, uh, as security officer. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? No, it doesn't look like it. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Not this time, anyway. Possibly some other time. Emily Wong. Oh boy, okay, what do you I'm want? I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. Yep. You recently took down a yeah, man yeah, named yeah. Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Yeah. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? Found some discs. Would these help? These OSDs might have the information. Okay, so we got it already and <gasps> there we got go. You've got files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Success. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Yep, yes you should. Okay, well, 5,000 credits for that too. Okay, good XP. Anybody around here need things being done? I guess we don't have to go to Fist's office. Uh, expat store. Yeah, we should go to the market and see what they have for sale. Get some more credits. Alright, let's see about that. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Colonies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. You've got some news? Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Okay, what have you got? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Assassin heavy armor. Okay. Uh, I'm sort of a light armor type. Uh, that is a little bit better damage protection than my current Scorpion 4. That's Assassin 6. But it's got inferior shields and inferior tech or biotic protection. So what the heck. Uh, Avenger armor. Oh uh, no, Avenger Rifle. Eh, I don't think it's that great. No, I don't think there's anything interesting here at all, actually. But there, there is another store, isn't there? Is that really Uh-oh, Conrad Werner. Run! Run! Yeah, here we go. Please tell me somebody's selling stuff. Moreland! Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yep. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Uh, standard items. But I should get some better non-human armor as well. Warlord. Uh, Turian Medium Titan. 
Uh, but I can't see what uh, our Turian has right now. Ursa 6. That's pretty expensive. Oh well. And that's a pretty limited selection, frankly. Alright, anybody around here want anything done? To Flux. Actually, let's go this way. What? Everyone knows me. Yeah. It's out of my hands, Rita. Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she... What does Rita want? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? Got some problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. It's okay, go on. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Bad the choice. Is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Uh, that's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Okay, have you, Do you talked know who to CSEC? Contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. I'll speak with her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's death oh, is. Oh yeah, I can. Would you? That'd be great. If it's not too late just already. Don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. She didn't even ask who I was. Finch. Okay. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Grew up? Who are you? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. Oh, The vids yeah. never tell the whole story. So, what can I do for the Reds? One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. No promises. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. That was... Thanks, that... Shepard. I knew you'd remember your That wasn't friends. no promises. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Well, if I see you again, I'll just shoot you. Honestly. Korra's den is back in action after the shootout here. Turian guard. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, You've got just a prisoner named loose. Kurt Wiseman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things, human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. Okay, uh, what is his crime? What crime did Wiseman commit? He attempted to poison medical cargo being sent to a Turian Ooh. colony to treat an outbreak of a dangerous disease. If he'd succeeded, millions would have died. This human is a dangerous xenophobe. You know, xenophobe is not the word I would choose. I mean, uh, that that that's a mass murderer, right? Uh, yeah, okay, that changes Thanks things. Thanks for the information. One of Wiseman's friends was less than honest with me. I understand. Weissman was too well supplied to be acting alone. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard on his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. Well, I see you again, so it's when time to shoot you. our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, just shoot him. No, they won't. That's what I said I'd do. Impressive. Perhaps the first human Spectre will not be a disappointment after all. Goodbye, Spectre. Alright. I got two Paragon, nine Renegade. Fair enough. Okay, so, uh, Patron? You just called Patron. I need to... General Septimus I don't need to talk to again, do I? I got business here, but not with you. Where's our other... Harkin, I definitely don't want to talk to. He's still in here, huh? 
Some things never change. Okay, um, it wasn't General Septimus. It was that girl, right? Supposed to be Jenna, Jenna, yeah. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. This will be quick. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. Looks just like her sister, I need by the way. To go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Well, that didn't work. I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. Surely. Okay, so now what do we do? Return to Rita. Okay, I guess that's the best thing we can do. <laughs> Who are you? If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Okay. What did you just say? Oh, I heard him. Off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Chelik. Okay. What the hell is all that about? Follow him? No, it's not a good question. We know he's a CSEC guy and uh, we need to talk to him. Follow him? I guess we better go find out. Ooh, ominous music. Okay, we have arrived at CSEC Academy. And is he around? Chalik, there we go. Sir. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. Watch your tone, Chalik. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Oh. Shrewd, detective. Very shrewd. It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? Well, I do want to help him, so I don't want to go pathetic. Um... Would Pathetic uh, kill that opportunity? Oh yeah, well, what, what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. All right. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okie dokie. Okay, there's Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Of course. I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Uh, I'm just supposed to bring it back to him. I don't need to arrest him. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Yeah, I mean, arresting him would bust the whole thing, right? I mean, what the heck? Okay, so General says we go back, right? Yeah. Back to Chelik. Okay. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Of course. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Different voice. Thanks again, Shepard. That was that sounded different. Wow, we got Omni Gel, we got uh well, we got Paragon. I can never uh, really Okay, fine, fine, Paragon points. How are we doing on the on the balance here? Uh our renegade is still trailing our paragon and it's practically balanced. 
What can you do? Unless you want to commit mass genocide and support the people who do that. You're gonna end up with some Paragon points, apparently. Okay, where, where is, uh... Where is Jenna's sister? Uh, oh, is it already done? Oh, it's complete. We didn't even need to talk to Rita again. Okay, so we finished that one. Aside from scan the keepers, we don't have any other missions at the Citadel. So, a fairly mild episode, uh, not much shooting, but we talked to peoples, we got some things done. Uh, we could buy some more equipment. I guess that'd be a good way to round things out. Hello, Commander. Yep, I need supplies. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, so the Polaris Biotic Amp is what I'm really eyeing here. It costs a lot, but I think it's worth it. Great duration bonus for Shepard. Power bonus. Cooldown bonus. Yeah, let's just buy it. Except. Okay, let's equip that first. And we got incendiary rounds somehow. Okay, so Polaris Amp. Feels so much more powerful now. What we really need is armor for her. I guess she uses human armor? Is that right? Yeah, it looks like she uses human armor. Okay, so we need some human armor for her light armor. Yeah. Hello, Commander. Yeah, the onyx isn't so great. Scorpion armor then. Yeah, alright. Does the color doesn't go quite well with her blue skin, but that's alright. That's a minor issue. Okay, so now we've got some better armor, and that's how I'll conclude. So, uh, right here I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.